Hello everybody, Mr. O here, and today we're going to talk about how to get started, especially if you're a struggling art student. The importance of using very basic shapes, 2D shapes like circles, squares, triangles, uh, into 3D shapes like cylinders, cones, to help you get started drawing. What's ironic is a kindergarten and a first grader, they have no trouble getting started. And what we're gonna talk about are cats. I'm gonna just talk about the cat head. If I ask a very young student, draw me a cat. You know what they're gonna do is they're gonna draw a circle with some triangles and some whiskers. And let me just show you that real quick, just so you see how I do it. Um, one of the hardest things adults have is the ability to draw like a child and just drawing a basic circle look at this i made a mistake i'm not going to worry about it i'm going to draw a triangle and i'm going to draw some eyes using little circles upside down triangle for the nose put a little dash for the mouth and some whiskers okay bam that is how a very young person starts with a cat. Now, what the problem comes to, and this is what I'm allu alluding to, is as you get older, if you don't have art class, you don't practice drawing, you kind of forget this is the foundation of everything. And even if you are 25 years old, this is how you should start. What you turn this into is guidelines. And I will show you that here in a second. What I'm gonna show you right now is probably level two. So as you're, if you're young and you're trying to get back into art, the next level to this, and I'm gonna use my concept brush pen, is just using as a guideline and making things look like fur. Drawing a little detail. Nothing fancy, you probably seen something like this. See how I'm doing this? Now I'm gonna go out a little wider on the cheeks, come back in, and here we go. Notice I changed the mouth and the eye. I'm gonna make a little bigger, and then I'm gonna do a pupil do this little C, C shape, and then do a little shape to the nose. Do some fur, and now I'm gonna do the whiskers again. Now, take a look at that. I use my elementary shapes as a guideline, and I was able to come up with this. Now, as you become an advanced artist, you will do a lot more. And I'm going to do this in my marker. And I want you guys to re realize that you're going to make mistakes. And I'm going to take it to even the next level. Um, high school, college level. And just use this stuff as a guideline to develop um, my realistic cat. Is it going to be completely realistic? Well, we'll see. I'm gonna put it a little bit in time lapse. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye bye. All right, so here is what I'm calling my realistic cat. It's not completely realistic. I know there's some flaws, but I'm not looking at a resource. I'm not a cat expert, but I want you to see what I did to get started. 
I have students and let's, I'm gonna make up a student here named Abby. Abby is a wonderful student who tries very hard, um, but sometimes even my best students do not know how to get started. And I'm just kind of reminding you, and you may, maybe you've never been taught to do 2D shapes. We always, as instructors, make the assumptions that you know the foundation stuff. And we know 2D shapes like circles, squares, and uh, triangles, but you may not have practiced drawing them. It's very important that you practice that. Um, you may even want to look for my 2D and 3D lesson and just practice. It's something that I work with every day, but there's a payoff. If you want to be able to draw like I can, one of the things you want to do is listen to me. Listen to my advice, and I promise you one thing. You will probably even be better than I am. If you guys ever need anything, just message me and I will try to answer your questions. But until then, just remember this. You are amazing. And guys, you have a beautiful day and we'll see you next video. Bye-bye.